What's up guys, today we're going to talk about some filmmaking equipment that you can get under $100 that will greatly improve your filmmaking productivity and video quality. So the first one on this, or this first section, is going to be storage. So right here we have the WD 3TB My Passport external hard drive. Now this is a hard drive, it's not a solid state drive. But it's three terabytes and it's just under $100. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money, you can get the desktop version. You can't take it with you. It's not as portable. You have to plug it into the wall. But you do save a little bit of money if you're just going to put it in your um, home studio anyway. So you could just save a little bit of money there. That's $90. And the other one is just under $100. Both are three terabytes. Uh, plenty of storage. I have a three terabyte hard drive and it's definitely going to last quite a while. If hard drives are not your thing and you want solid state drives, then you have the PenY Elite. It's only 240 gigabytes, but it's definitely going to be a lot faster transferring. If you're going to use this like primarily for like projects where you're on the go and you need quick data transfer. Uh, but if you're doing filmmaking, um, and YouTube vlogs, I'll probably go with the 3 terabyte version because you get much more storage. The next subject on this list will be lights. We have the newer, I'm going to say newer, sounds better, CN304. Now this is just under $60, it's 56 bucks. It has a bunch of different features, you know, LED, it has a great output and you can see how much battery is left on that light. You know, lighting is quite important for filmmaking, so this could act as a key light in some situations, but probably more as a backlight or a background light is what I would use this for. $56. You can even buy two of those, so just over 100 you have two lights. Next thing on the list is audio. Now we have the Rode Video Micro, which is 59 bucks. This is for on-camera use. I'm using this to record right now. It's perfect, doesn't need a battery, you're all set to go. If you're shooting on a phone, then you can get the Rode Video Mic Me. I have this one as well. It sounds about the same as the Rode Video Micro. Can't use it on iPhone 7s because of the jack right there. But of course, it just helps you get better audio quality. It's definitely a great improvement. And the third piece of audio equipment we have is the Zoom H1. Now this is just under $100. I have the Zoom H5. The Zoom H1 is probably going to sound kind of similar. Zoom H5 is going to sound, of course, better. Has more features. The build quality on this is a little plasticky. I have not used this, but you know, just having an external audio recorder, you know, just for Foley or voiceovers, is really going to up your production quality. The next section is supports and rigs. And the first thing we have for this is the Viltrox VX18 tripod. It's 99 bucks and it looks like a solid tripod. It has a fluid head. It's definitely gonna be an awesome, essential equipment you're gonna need for a film set. You know, you wanna get this after you get like your camera and your lens. A tripod is a must. The next thing I included is the newer portable filmmaker system. It's just a shoulder rig. I have not used this, so I can't really s determine how well it's going to be, but you know, just to get something stabilized instead of handheld, but to get on shoulder, it's going to be a lot more practical and the shots are going to be a lot more smoother and more film like, cinematic kind of stuff. 70 bucks. I think that's a pretty darn good deal. You know, you can even use this for your phone if you wanted to. So it's kind of universal for both. The next thing we have is the newer Pro version of their slider. Um, this is the two foot model and it's $80. They also have a three foot for $90. And I believe a four foot, a little under a four foot for um, $100. But just get something like even a two, two foot should be relatively enough for just little small little pan I mean sliding movements um, just kind of enhances the cinematic quality 80 bucks there you go 
All right, now believe this or not, we have some lenses included. We have the Yongnuo, I believe that's how you pronounce it, 35 millimeter F2 lens. Now this is the Canon EF mount version. I feel like a lot of people are shooting on Canons or depth from Canon. So I'm shooting on the Panasonic G7. So I could just use my adapter I have right here, put it on, and you get a 35 millimeter lens, F2, $91. It's not gonna be as good, of course, um, but that price is definitely unique. Next, we have the Young Newer 50 millimeter. Now you can get a vintage 50 millimeter ones. I'm gonna talk about this a little later on. I believe a vintage one would be a lot better because the build quality on the Yongno, I don't think it's gonna be that great. Um, that's 50 millimeter F 1.8. Only $51, but if you can, you can save money and you can go to KEH and they have some vintage lenses too. This is the 28 millimeter one. They have like an excellent version for $72, under a hundred bucks. This vintage lens here I got for $8 and with a tripod, little table tripod, that's 50 millimeter f 1.7. A very great lens. It's not so great, you know, on a micro four third because it's really telephoto then. But you know, if you get um, a turbo booster, focal reducer, that'll work out pretty fine. So that wraps up the list, guys. And I want to talk to you about another series. I'm going to do an under $50 segment and perhaps some even cheaper ones. So if you want to see those videos, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Share with your friends if they enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.